Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the mission in San Jose, the San Jose mission. I'm going to take one finger at the bottom on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line over to the right. Then I'm going to take two fingers and put another dot. And I'm going to draw another slightly wavy line all the way over. Okay. Right about here in the middle, I take two fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a straight diagonal down on the left, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down on the right. I come right above my first dot and I put a second dot. And I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left and a straight line on the right. I come back to the left and connect that section with a straight line and on the right that section with a straight line. I come over to the left and I draw a straight line all the way down, connect on the left and come on the right and draw a straight line down on the right. I come right about here and I am going to draw a little straight line down, connect Going towards the left, a little straight line out, straight line all the way down, connect. On this section, I come up and I draw a little straight line out on the left, little straight line out on the right, come back to the left, little straight line up, straight line over, little straight line down. Right in the center, I put one straight line and another straight line. Now I'm going to fill in this space with little straight lines all the way over. And now on this section I'm going to draw little straight lines in this space all the way down on the left and all the way down on the right. Right in the center I draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. I come on the left and draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come over to the right and I'm going to do the same thing. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Right in the center. I draw a little straight line and in between straight line down, straight line over, straight line up. It's important to let these two little straight lines kind of hang out a little bit. Right underneath that I'm now going to draw a triangle and underneath I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to put a little straight line on the left and a little straight line on the right. Now I come all the way down and I'm going to draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, triangle. Then I draw a straight line all the way down on the left, straight line down all the way on the right. Inside I'm going to draw another straight line, little straight line, little straight line. Now I come back over here and I draw a straight line across. Then I put straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come down a little bit, draw a little straight line across. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Okay, starting on the left, I am going to draw a wavy line, connect, jump over. Then I'm going to draw another wavy line, but I'm going to keep that open. I'm going to make it a floater. We'll come back to it in a minute. I come back to the left, and now I'm going to do some bushes. So I just go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Doesn't matter how you make them. I'm going to draw another one right next to it, a little bit skinnier. 
the kind of wavy lines up, down, up, down. I jump over on the right and now I'm going to put a bigger bush and I'm going to add straight line, straight line, don't draw through it. Then I'm going to add another kind of a wibble wobble, wibble wobble, straight line, straight line, and another wibble wobble, wibble wobble. These don't have to be even because they're vegetation. Now I can draw this wavy line jump over wavy line to the edge. Right here I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out on the left and a straight diagonal out on the right. Then I'm going to draw straight line across and then a straight diagonal down to that line on the right and a straight diagonal down on that line to the left. I'm going to fill these sections in with straight lines all the way down, all the way across. Now, this whole space right in here is filled in with baby circles. They don't have to be even because they're rocks, but you have to fill in the whole entire section with all of these baby circles, which can be very tedious, I know but in the long run they're going to look really fantastic. Now all of the missions I've now decided have something unique about each one of them and although this actual mission is very simple the way it is set up with the stairs and the rocks and the trees and the bushes and the background is really what sets this mission apart from some of the others. So you're going to keep doing all these baby circles all the way across and fortunately because they're rocks they do not have to be even or even spaced evenly. You just want to fill in the whole entire space. Okay, I think we're ready to color. Okay, down at the bottom I'm going to make this peach and I'm going to do this part of my hills peach. If you don't have peach you can use a light brown. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to color all of my roof and these are the eaves that hold up the roof. These are all going to be brown. So that whole section is going to be brown. My windows and all of these decorative triangles and the inside of the doorway, these can all be colored black. You don't want to color them too dark because then you'll lose your detail. Then these stairs, I'm going to do another brown, different color brown if you have it, just to kind of make it look a little bit different than the other brown. But if you only have one brown, that's fine. These, this is my tree trunk, that's going to be brown. This is going to be green. My bushes. And then all of my rocks, I'm going to do gray. If you don't have gray, you can use black and make it just a light cover. The last thing I'm going to do is my background. So I'm using a lavender or a wisteria, or if you don't have that, just a real light purple, just to make this one look a little bit different than all the others. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Mission San Jose all colored in, and like I've said before, depending on what kind of environment the mission was built in determined the way it looked. So they must have had a lot of rocks around there. Okay, bye-bye.